Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with your output device. You got the error of no output device found and you are not getting any kind of sound from the speakers. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed with the resolution. So click on the start menu and type control panel to open it. Now click on the sound option available over here. Now under the playback tab, you will find all the playback devices present in your system. So go ahead and disable every device except your default one. For example, currently this one is my default device. So I need to disable rest for availables right over here by right clicking on it and choose the option disable. Do the same process with each of the device present over here by right clicking and choose the option disable. After that, only one device is remaining as your default device. Right click on it and choose the option properties. Here, Click on the advanced tab and uncheck the option allow applications to take exclusive control of it. Hit apply and ok button. Now hit the ok button, close it and try to check if you are still getting the issue of no output device found. If this failed, in next step right click on start menu and choose the option run. Type here services.msc and then hit the enter key. Here in services menu you need to find a service with the name windows audio service. So press the W key to find the windows audio service. There you go. Right click and choose the option properties. If the service status is stopped, click on this start option to start the service at once and in startup type make it automatic. Then hit apply and ok button. Do the same with windows audio endpoint builder. Again properties, start the service if it is stopped and in startup type make it automatic. Once it is done, don't forget to restart your PC to fix out no audio device found in your windows 11. Now if this also failed, let's proceed with the next step. Right click on start menu and choose run. This time type here, reg edit and then hit the enter key. Now here in address bar, you need to paste a path. Here is the path, I will share this path in the description of this video. Copy it and paste right over here by pressing the control V button and then hit the enter key. Now here. Under the win stations, right click and export it. Save it into a disk scope and give it a name win stations and hit the save button. This will ensure that if anything goes wrong, you can simply double click on it to restore the registry. Once you have done this, copy the second text from the description of this video. Now click on the start menu type CMD. Run CMD as an administrator. Now paste the text that you have copied by pressing the control V button. Once it is done, go ahead and hit the enter key. The operation is completed successfully. Once it is completed, close it, restart your PC to fix out the no audio device found in your Windows 11. Now if this method also failed, let's proceed with the next step. Right click on start menu and choose option device manager. Here in device manager, you need to expand different drivers one by one. First one is audio input and output devices. Expand it, right click on your output device and choose the option properties. Here click on the driver tab and click on the option update driver. Choose second option browse my computer for drivers and again choose second option let me pick from the list of available drivers. From here select your compatible driver and hit the next button to continue installing the drivers for your output device. You need to do the same process with sound video and game controller. Again expand and follow the same process with real tech audio. Right click, properties, driver tab, update driver. Again choosing the second options and selecting the latest update available. For example, this one is from 2021 and this one is a latest update from 2022. So I'll go ahead and choose the latest update and hit the next button to continue installing the latest drivers for my real tech high definition audio. Thirdly is under system devices, expand it and here again find high definition audio controller. Again right click, properties, driver tab, update driver, second option again second option, choose the device and hit the next button to simply installing the latest drivers for your output devices to fix out the issue of no audio device found. 
once it is done close it and make sure to restart your pc and if still the method fails the lastly is open up your browser and here you need to type realtek audio drivers and hit the enter key you need to open the official realtek website scroll down and depending upon the type of windows you have click on the corresponding download link accept the terms and conditions and click on download this file just solve the captcha and hit the go button save the latest drivers into a system and once the download is completed you need to run this particular driver to install it in your system just like you install any program or any game in your pc and this will completely fix out the issue of no audio device found one more thing friends sometimes downloading drivers from realtek doesn't fix so you need to download a driver right from your manufacturer i mean your laptop or motherboard manufacturer for example dell hp or lenovo i'll go and type lenovo audio driver download make sure to open only the official website from here you can see the audio drivers are available right in front of you go ahead click on the download option simply enter your serial number and hit the option submit and check if you do not know the serial number click on start menu type cmd run cmd as an administrator simply type here wmic bios get serial number and hit the enter key and you will get the serial number just enter the serial number right over here and this will provide you a download link just download it and install it in your system and this will completely fix out the issue of no audio output device found so this is all about it friends if this video works out for you i request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel